Well, you know the old phrase, cleanliness is next to godliness. Well, it really is true. And if anyone's ever cleaned out a block after it's been honed, and you should always do that, by the way, you probably know that your rags are gonna get kind of dirty. Yes. Well, there's junk in those valleys that are left by Even the Even after the block looks fairly clean. Oh yeah, these look really you, clean. And of course, engine builders are gonna know this because they've done this a, a million times. But when you're cleaning a block mm -hmm. and you wipe the cylinders out, even though it looks clean, you're going to get residual dirt mm -hmm. off. And when I say dirt, it's not dirt, it's honing grit, yep, it's metal, metal yep. from the cylinders on the rag. And as you can see this right here, he's probably gonna show you a thing of that, that that's what happens. Which is interesting is because we have the profilometer and, and the, microscope, the microscope, we, we can actually see it now. Yeah, we decided. Which is great. Why not? So we took we, we did something that we, we've never done before. We took this block, which just came back from Brad Legwin at QMP, picked it up yesterday, the block was finished to lake specs, and we're, we're, we're measuring it with the profilometer. And geez, what did we find? Well, the thing was we went and measured it, you know, as we would expect, and yeah. it's like, okay, yeah, it's right on the money, right where you Supposed expect to be. it, Brad, to yeah. be. But then we had this idea, it's like, well, let's clean it a little bit more, and let's see if, if we clean it. If it makes it. a difference with the profilometer. Right. Which we didn't know. Right, well, I had no yeah, idea. We didn't, we didn't. Let's just see. Yeah. Well, sure enough, with the profilometer, you can actually see when this stuff leaves. And then- <laughs> we, the, we did it three times. We did, and, we and, did. And I'm like, really, there's that much difference just by cleaning the block? Three different cylinders. Yeah. We could actually see the numbers change, and even more so than the numbers change, you can see it in the trace. You can see yes. where before, when there was it was dirty, yeah. how full it was. Like it was, there weren't the full valleys. But then once you cleaned it out, it literally cleared it out. You could see the change in the graph. You could see it. And, and of course, you know, for those of you that have been following along with the profilometer stuff we've been doing so far, mm -hmm. you've got your peaks and you've got your valleys, okay? Right. So just by cleaning the block off, the peaks got a little bit smoother mm -hmm. because we've cleaned. What it's going to do is it will take some of whatever's left on there from the hone, it will take some of that off. It's just cleaning it up. It's like sweeping it, the floor. Exactly. But the valleys, the valleys, the grooves in mm -hmm. there that's below the ring also gets cleaned off just a little bit. And we can see that with the microscope. We can uh, that see that. That was the crazy part. Yeah. You know, for a long time, we've been looking at this microscope, looking at the bores, and you can see the crosshatch, and you can see those deep valleys, and we're like, yes. oh, those are really good deep valleys. They're nice and dark. We, we, you know, and we need those valleys because the valleys are what hold, holds the oil. You've got to remember that the ring seal is partially dependent on the oil that's on the cylinder wall. Well, it holds more than just oil. Yeah. It holds garbage, the it trash. It holds dirt. Yeah, so it's dark, not because it was deep. Right. It's because, because it's, it's full of holding, crap. Because it's holding crap in it. <laughs> yeah, you know? it is. Totally full of crap yeah, is what yeah, it was. Yeah. So as we cleaned it out and got it cleaner and cleaner. What with, did we find? With the microscope, you can see it went from having all these dark scratches in the background to the whole thing just cleaned up. It just brightened up. Yeah. And, it, but the thing is, some of them are so deep. Thank you, Brad, for honing it the way we wanted to with the deep valleys. You can't even get it out with Sometimes a Sometimes you can't get it out. Even though we've sprayed some really good oh, stuff we in killed there. it. I mean, we just sit there and foamed this thing. It's like a foaming degreaser. Exactly. I mean, we used like a quarter of a can in one cylinder. It's still there you, in little you, bitty you, bits in the you, background. You can't ever get it all out. No. You know, nobody could ever do that. But what happens then when we clean it out there is that there's more room for the oil to get in there and there's less room for the contaminants to destroy your ring seal when you're firing the engine up. As we know from our oil filter test, oh. <laughs> you definitely want to remove all the contaminants you possibly can. So as we said at the very beginning of the video, cleanliness is next to godliness. That's why there's a clean room here. And here at Shavers and at other shops, there's a clean room because you gotta have your stuff honed, exactly. you gotta deck it, you gotta do all the machining, yeah. you gotta clean it, clean it really good, bring it back in the clean room and put it together because any debris that's left inside the engine. What does that do to your rings? It goes all through your engine and exactly. increases wear. Exactly, now when I dyno an engine, you can't get everything out. The dirtiest your oil is going to be. At break-in. It's gonna be break-in, yep. okay? And we've seen that a million times. It's so critical to clean your engine as best you can because I can see 
after the dyno process, after my hour of dyno running, I can see the dirt in the oil. And e even though we've cleaned it out the best we can, you're going to get those contaminants. You're going to get iron dust from the rings wearing themselves yep. in. Everything's mating in. Everything's mating in. Yep. And it's so important to clean that first before you get started so that the rings can actually do their job breaking it correctly. Oh, absolutely. You can always tell that when there's higher wear metals in the engine oil, all the other parts of the engine wear more. Exactly. Uh, one of our greatest examples of that has been titanium retainers because titanium is so hard and it, it will create very small wear debris that the filter can't capture all of it. And you can see that as titanium wear goes up, all the copper, the tin, the lead, the iron, all the Which other wear Which you're going to get every time. All yep. increase. So when you have one thing wearing at a higher level, it doesn't just wear that one thing, it, it wears, wears everything. everything. Yes. Exactly. Which is why it's so important to make sure you get your engine clean, really clean, before you put it together. And I hate to say it, this was very eye opening. Sorry, it was bad. Well, yeah, no, it was <laughs> eye opening. It, it, it's a microscope. It's a microscope for the boards. And you know what? Before we had this, you know, we guessed on how clean we were going to make everything. This thing here has opened my eyes mm -hmm. because you can actually see how close the dirt is in the, in the peaks and the valleys with this little microscope that actually can actually see things that you, you will never be able to see without this. Oh, when we went from the one unclean side to the clean side, back and forth. Yeah. And we did it three times just to make sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this isn't one, one cylinder, one test. Like, yeah. literally, yeah. three different cylinders, repeat the same number, same yeah. thing every time. It's pretty good. Cleanliness, it's important. Make sure you do it. Very important.